Hello friends, today's topic is mobile IP. Mobile IP is an important topic in the era of communication, especially when you come to internet communication. Usually for any technology, there are uh, uh, driving forces behind the advancement in the technology. One is from the user's perspective, the other one is from the technology perspective. Here also for the mobile IP, it is the driving force which is comes from uh, the user perspective. The user's demand, especially on uh, the mobility, comes into the picture. So user requires all the services that comes in uh, normal internet to be in mobile. Hence the mobile IP concept has been evolved over a two decade period. And there are a certain uh, clarity to be presented for mobile IP before the implementation. Basically for any technology, we need uh, certain requirements on the technology. Similarly for mobile IP, there are uh, four uh, parameters as the requirements. One is the scalability, the other one is transparency, the third one is security and the fourth one is the efficiency. All these four plays a major role in the technology development of mobile IP. Especially the security part plays a major role. Similarly, the efficiency also plays a major role. For example, if you transmit 100 packets, all the 100 packets should reach the destination without any error. The error may be from uh, transmission or from the network. Whatever the perspective, there should not be any error. So naturally, these requirements pose the goal, the definition of the goal for mobile IP. Basically, the goal is defined as the mobile services in the internet with the scalability, with security and efficiency. So the goal of uh, mobile IP is being derived as supporting end system mobility with the scalability transparency and efficiency. I have shown a sample network wherein we have a normal router connected with the internet and on the other side we have another router and three routers are shown in this network where this is my mobile end device, this is called mobile node and this is going to be the correspondent node CN where this node is going to communicate with the mobile node. This is my requirement. In a normal internet this mobile node is attached with a home agent or a home network router. So no problem in transmitting the data from CN to MN. The problem comes only when the mobile node moves from this point of attachment to the next point of attachment. Now in our case, the mobile node moves from this point and it goes to this point. The moment mobile node moves from one router to other, the problem arises. That is the problem of mobile IP. Basically, there are four steps involved in the case of uh, communicating packets between CN and MN. The four steps are shown as one, two, three, and four. Typically, when a mobile node moves from this point of attachment, that is home network, to a foreign network. In the step one, the corresponding node is going to transmit packets from this to this router. It goes into the internet, comes to the home agent router. At this case, the mobile node has been moved from this point to this point. So naturally, the home agent is going to form a tunneling concept and encapsulation concept wherein it forms a route in this form. And this is the tunneling start point and this is the tunneling end point. So whenever a CN transmits packets, it goes to the router, goes into the net, comes to this home agent. The moment mo mobile node moves to other foreign agent, the packets are tunneled, encapsulated, and flows through this router, and this becomes the foreign agent, or foreign network. The foreign agent is going to decapsulate the packets, transmit the data to the mobile node. Once the mobile node gets the packet, it is going to transmit back through acknowledgement. This is the fourth step. So these four steps are the basic steps that forms the mobile network. Second point is the registration process where whenever a mobile node moves from the home network to foreign network, it has to register. I have shown some example wherein a normal uh, typical uh, registration process where the mobile node and the home agent is going to have the registration process. Registration is done with the help of two types of messages. One is registration request, registration reply. Registration request is normally generated by the mobile node where it is going to send this packet. Whenever the home agent 
recognize that this is a mobile load, it is going to give back the reply. This is a normal uh, uh, procedure for registration of any mobile node. When it comes to the case of mobile IP, a new uh, router or a new network comes into play, that is foreign agent. Mobile load, foreign agent and home agent, these three are involved. So in this case, mobile load as usual, it is going to send a request packet, registration request. It goes to the foreign agent. Foreign agent in turn transmits the registration request to the home agent. Home agent recognizes that this is the mobile node attached with this home node, gives back the reply, and the reply comes to the mobile node. This is the registration process normally done in the case of mobile IP. The third process is binding or optimization process wherein, for example, the communication between the corresponding node and the mobile node. For example, in our case, the CN, for example, CN is attached to this network. From the diagram, you can have a communication from CN to router and goes to the mobile node, but this is not the case. The actual communication takes place from CN, it goes to this router, comes to this home agent, identify that the mobile node is not here, it is there. Once again, the packets will travel back to this router and goes to the mobile node. This kind of routing is called triangular routing. This triangular routing should be avoided. For that, we need a process called binding. Normally, this binding is done with the help of binding catch memory, especially a portion of memory is divided into binding catch, wherein the data about the mobile node movement is registered in the cache memory. This is done with the help of four kind of messages, binding request, binding update, binding warning, and binding acknowledgement. Any mobile node which is going to be in the mobile, it has to send this kind of uh, four messages, binding request, binding update, binding warning, and binding acknowledgement. Here also, the the mobile node, whenever moves from the home network to a foreign network, it is going to transmit a binding request. In turn, the router is going to send back binding acknowledgement. And once it receives the binding acknowledgement, it back, send back the binding update. These three are the common uh, messages involved in binding. Thank you.